Welcome to this introduction to business intelligence from the Corporate Finance Institute. This course is a comprehensive introduction to everything business intelligence. We'll explore the roles that make up a business intelligence team, the roles they perform, and we'll see live demos of the tools most commonly used in BI. Then I'll discuss all the key concepts of data visualization and data itself to make sure that you have the terminology to discuss BI with confidence. With this knowledge, you'll be all set to start learning these business intelligence tools and skills that are going to transform your ability to work with, transform, analyze, and visualize data. The Intro to Business Intelligence course is divided into three chapters. What is business intelligence? Data visualization concepts and common data concepts. In this first chapter, we're going to answer what exactly is business intelligence and is it the same as data science? We'll learn the roles that form part of a business intelligence team. We'll see live examples of the most popular BI tools so you can see exactly how transformative they're going to be to your work. Finally, we'll learn how a BI team serves the needs of a business and how they can be well supported by its leaders. What is business intelligence? Business intelligence is the practice of turning data into actionable insights. The idea of using data to drive action in business is not a new one, but what has changed is both the amounts of data we can collect and store, as well as the tools and technology available to us. BI relies on a variety of different processes, tools, skills, and therefore roles that work together seamlessly to turn data into insights. And more specifically, when we say actionable insights, we mean those that are specific enough that they allow business leaders to change or maintain a course of action. To help further define the term business intelligence, I want to answer this very common question. Is BI the same as data science? In a nutshell, no. Business intelligence focuses on what has happened and what trends have been developing. Common questions in BI might be how many loans did we issue compared to last year? Or which category delivered the highest margin in Q4? And the key skills required for BI are basic statistics, data transformation, data visualization, and specific business knowledge. Data science, on the other hand, focuses on what will happen or which outcome is most likely. Questions that might be answered with data science include, can we predict which customers are likely to default on loans? Or can we suggest relevant movies that a user will like based on their previous choices? The skills used in data science are more technical and will include coding, data mining, advanced statistics, and specific domain knowledge. More generally, the term data analysis brings together concepts and skills from both of these areas. The remainder of this course will focus on business intelligence. As we said, BI exists to turn data into insights. To help us understand how that happens, we're going to look at four different roles and the part they each play in delivering insights to a business. Data engineers are responsible for organizing and moving data between systems, which is more commonly referred to as ETL, or Extract, Transform, and Load. This process ensures that the data is ready and optimized for the rest of us to consume. Data analysts are typically responsible for extracting that data for a specific report or project. They use it to create metrics and models that will eventually help stakeholders answer important questions. Data visualization specialists are focused on the presentation of those metrics to the business audience. After all, what good are all our technical insights if we can't communicate them clearly to our non-technical audience? They do this using visuals and dashboards to create reports and presentations that tell stories about important metrics. Finally, let's not forget our business leaders, who ultimately are the audience of all our hard work. Strictly speaking, they're not part of the business intelligence team, 
but they're important because they make their decisions based on our insights. Everything we do as a business intelligence team is for the benefit of the business. In the rest of this chapter, we're going to explore each one of these roles in turn. We'll look at examples of the tools they might use and demo the most common ones so you can see just how powerful these tools are. We'll also look at the skills required to fulfill each role. Now for those of us who have spent a significant amount of time in Microsoft Excel, the data analyst represents a familiar starting point in the BI sequence. We have access to some data in the form of an Excel file, CSV file or database, and we need to rearrange it to fit nicely into our report. So let's take a look at the modern data analyst. The data analyst. Data analysts are responsible for building data models which facilitate analysis and visualization. The data analyst's role can be broken down into four general tasks. The first of these is ETL, or Extract, Transform, and Load. If there's anything that's always true about our data, it's that it's never quite in the format that we want it. Importing, transforming, and moving data is known as ETL. And for a data analyst, this can involve sourcing data from Excel, CSV files, and databases. The data is then transformed into a better layout before loading into a model. The next task is to create models with that data. The models we create often bring together data from two different sources or tables. For example, we might have a transactions table and a product table. By connecting these tables, we're effectively creating a data model. We'll look more at that later. Importing the data and setting up the model can be a lengthy process, so data analysts will set up automated refreshes which can be used at the click of a button. The third task is to calculate the metrics that allow us to measure business performance. As we all know, formulas can be complex and depend on how our data is structured. It's important for a data analyst to understand exactly how the data is put together. Finally, data analysts will document everything they've done. Documentation falls into two categories. First, the model itself needs to be documented to help other analysts understand the data sources and the data model. Second, we need to ensure that the business users interpret models and metrics in a consistent manner. A data dictionary, in this case, will provide that clarity. Let's take a quick look at the tools that a data analyst uses most frequently. Then I'll show you a quick demo of the ones most widely used by BI professionals. In the past, data analysts have generally used Excel and VBA to complete their work. Excel is still the most widely used analysis tool in business. Whilst VBA is a simple coding language that helps enhance the functionality of Excel either with macros or custom-built functions. There are two primary tools that data analysts rely on for data transformation. These are Power Query and SQL. Power Query is going to be a game changer for your transformations. It's an add-on for most versions of Microsoft Excel and can integrate seamlessly with your current reports. Gone are the days of manually copy-pasting and rearranging data each week for your regular reports. Power Query is so easy to learn and will save you hours and hours of time. SQL is a query language that helps you request data in a particular format from a database. We'll look at an example in a second. It's surprisingly not that difficult to learn and will dramatically improve your understanding of where your data is coming from. In order to combine data from different sources and perform analysis, data analysts use three key tools, Tableau, Power Pivot, and Power BI. Tableau is primarily known for its world-class visualizations, but in order to create those visuals, it also includes functionality to create metrics, join data from multiple sources, and even create a data model. Power BI is the most widely used analysis and visualization tool on the market. It might not quite have the same level of visuals as Tableau, 
but it lacks nothing in analytical power for the average user. Again, in Power BI, we can create data models, metrics, and interactive dashboards. It uses a formula language called DAX, which will be very familiar to Excel users. Power Pivot is an add-on for Excel. It brings the DAX formula language and the data model capabilities right into the heart of your Excel workbooks. If you work with Excel, Power Pivot is an absolute must. Finally, Click is another popular analysis and visualization tool, whilst R and Python are both coding languages that are used by some analysts to create more complex analyses. Now I want to show you a quick demo of the most popular tools.